today i've got some awesome tips for all of you using either yuzu suyo or sodachi emulator and if you are struggling with lags or just want your games to run smoothly this video is for you and i'll be showing you the best settings to turn on and off to get extra performance so stick around because by the end of this video your emulator will be running like a pro So let's dive right in. I'll walk you through which settings should be off to stop any unnecessary lag and which one should be on to make your gameplay feel smoother. This is all about getting the best experience out of your emulator. So please follow along and let's get those games running better. When you look here and this is the default home page of the emulator. So um, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm using Yuzu aliases. And what I'm going to teach you guys will work on any user base emulator like Suyu, Sudachi, and so on. So um, this is the normal page you see after you freshly install user emulator. So um, when you look here, I've already installed the, both the firmware and the product keys. And when you look down here, you can see something like Vulcan, High, Duct, Belinia no ea and so on so what we are going to do is we are going to change this duct over here we don't need this thing this thing drag down performance so we are going to change this duct over here to handheld so you put your pointer on it and then you click and then it change to handheld and here with the high this orange thing high thing we don't need it so we are going to set it to normal so um after setting it to normal it becomes green and with the vulcan i prefer you guys on leaving it like that because um with the vulcan it's improved performance unlike with the opengl and most games support vulcan so please let the vulcan be like this don't change anything in the Vulcan side now head over to the emulation side and then configure first of all let's change the template first to do that under the general select UI and then under team select midnight blue colorful select this one and then press ok wait for it to take effect okay so we've changed the thing now you can continue come here select configure and then under system cpu make, make sure your cpu is, is on auto so you you leave this one to auto or you can select on save but i prefer setting it to auto so make sure make sure it's on auto and also come to the graphics session and then under the graphics api we've already set it that's what um, we did over here so make sure it's on Vulkan. if it is on opengl if it's on opengl make sure you change it to Vulkan. and then under under the Vulkan, you can see something like intel hd graphics 530 here but it might be different from your side well click it after clicking it if you have external gpu in your computer you should see your external gpu under this place so if you have gpu like gts 1060 1070 1080 or rtx 3060 and above you should see it over here and if you have amd radeon and so on gpu you should see your external gpu over here so when you see your external gpu all what you have to do is you just need to select that gpu and the reason why i'm seeing only the Intel hd graphics here is that i don't have external gpu and i only have my cpu graphics which is the Intel hd graphics 530 so if you see your external gpu just select it 
but here i'll select my cpu graphics which is the intel hd graphics 530 and then come to the resolution aspect which is this side this side here come to the resolution aspect with this one for performance you can set it between one two three just test out which one works better for you but remember these two are experimental so you you will face some issues and when you set with when you and when you set it between these two and you are facing issue you can come back and then set it to 720 or 1080p which is this one okay so with the anti-aliasing method um make sure it's on none because what we are doing over here we want performance so make sure it's on none if it's on fxee or smee just set it to none now let's come back to the audio session so with the audio output you can choose qbep i only use this one which is qbep qbep and with the output device you just have to you know select your speaker output so you select between your speaker output or you just leave it to auto now with the control let's come to the control side with the control side um here we can see something like pro control pro control we can see a lot of control in here so um we have the pro control we have the joy cons we have the handheld and also we have the gamecube controller so um i prefer using the pro controller which is this one so you you can choose between the joy cons and the pro controller better still you can go with the handheld which is this one but i prefer using pro controller so after selecting your connection controller type which is either pro controller or joy comms you come here under the input devices here you can see something like keyboards only keyboards only and also keyboards and mouse and xbox 360 controller the reason why i'm seeing the xbox 360 controller over here is because i have xbox 360 controller connected to my computer so let's say if you have ps5 controller ps4 controller xbox one s xbox one controller anything connected to your device you should see that controller over here so if you have ps5 controller connected you should see a ps5 controller over here if you have um xbox one s controller you should see xbox one s controller over here if you have ps4 controller you should see a ps4 controller over here so i have xbox 360 controller so meaning i will choose the xbox 360 controller which is this one and after choosing it it will automatically map the control buttons to your controller so when you press on it it will take effect like this so um, that's it after selecting or after following it just press on okay so um that's all for today and i think these small settings will improve performance in your gameplay so please if you really like this video kindly subscribe to my channel thank you